Hey everybody, we're going to spend the next 15 minutes doing a slow-mo triangle flow. The pose we've been working on uh, the web page for the past week, focusing on triangle, reverse triangle, and uh, the lovely Caitlin will be our model today. Simply follow her lead and uh, we'll begin by sitting down on our mat in the cross-legged position. Now, if this is not comfortable, maybe you want to have a pillow nearby. You can sit on the pillow so that the hips tilt forward. And we want to find our sit bones, make sure we're not shifting from one side to the other. Close your eyes, sit tall, sit with head, neck, and trunk in alignment. We want the chest to be forward, the shoulders to be back, and allow that curve that forms naturally in your spine and your sacrum to be comfortable and sit and relax at ease within your body. Relax the entire body from head to toes, toes to head. Feel that connection through the pelvic floor and the mat connecting to the earth And relax all the muscles in your face, your forehead, your cheeks, your chin, your jawline, your shoulders, your hips, your knees. Relax completely. As the body becomes still, the mind becomes still. We use energy in our body as we move, so in order to conserve that energy, we want to still the body. And once we still the body, we want to observe the breath in the belly. Observe how the breath is flowing in and out, rising on the inhale, relaxing on the exhale. And observe the qualities of the breath. Notice whether there's any jerks, pauses, breaks, shallow, deep. Just observe the qualities, awakening the inner observer. As we still the body, we still the breath, we still the mind. Simply let any thoughts, images, or emotions that are passing through your mind to let go. Don't stop them from occurring, simply observe them. Take note, maybe write a mental note and place it beside your mat and let them go, coming back to them after the session. Still body, still breath, still mind. Resolve in the mind that you'll spend the next 15 minutes, 10, 15 minutes with yourself opening your eyes and slowly open up the hips and come down onto your knees in child resting pose. We want the knees to be on the outer edges of the mat allowing the belly to go in between the legs arms stretching forward about shoulder length apart now again, if this feels uncomfortable, maybe you want to place the pillow underneath your bum so that it comes down towards your ankles. And observe the breath in the belly again. The belly is pushing against the legs on the inhale, belly relaxing on the exhale. Start slowing down the breath, slowing down the oxidation process, calming the central nervous system. And begin to count in your mind as you inhale two to three seconds and as you exhale double the count four to six seconds. So if you breathe in two, you exhale four. If you breathe in three, you exhale six. Breathing softly, gently, smoothly. No thoughts in the mind, only the awareness of your breath.
Notice how the hips are gently allowing gravity to pull them closer to the mat, opening up the hips, preparing our body. And keeping that awareness in the breath, we'll move up on the inhale to all fours. Making sure that the hands are underneath the shoulders, the knees are underneath the hips. We're going to inhale, open the chest, belly comes down, exhale, hinge the hips. Arch the back, inhaling to open, exhaling to arch, warming up the spine. We want to warm up the joints to allow ourselves to go deeper. Flowing with your own breath, inhaling up, exhaling down. Exhale, come back to neutral, flat back, and we're going to bring the right foot forward to meet the right hand. We want that right hip to lean forward, left hip down, so you're just relaxing into the muscles. When we relax our muscles, we exercise our joints. When we tense our muscles, we protect our joints. So we're relaxing the muscles to prepare ourselves from coming up to stretch the muscles. Breathe deeply. And with an exhale, we want to send the hips back. Straightening out the right leg, and again relaxing into that right hip. And point the toes towards the face. Bring the right knee forward on the inhale. And come back to neutral and switch sides, always creating balance. Leaning forward on that right, left hip, sorry. Right hip reaching down. Breathe deep. Keep the chest forward, shoulders relaxed. And simply let that pelvis drop releasing the hips. Send the hips back, straightening out the left leg. Toes point towards the face. And breathe deeply, never forgetting about the breath. Come back to neutral. Back to tabletop. Inhaling, opening the chest. Curling the toes and under. Exhaling, down dog. Sending the hips back. Opening up the armpits. Sending the shoulders down the spine. Head dangles. Hips reach up. Heels reach down. And breathe deeply, maybe walking it out from foot to foot, side to side. Looking in between the hands, stepping forward, inhaling halfway, hands on the calves, looking forward. Exhale, full fold. Inhale, slowly come up, vertebrae by vertebrae. And relax in your mountain pose. Stand sideways on the mat. We want our feet to be about two to three feet apart. We want the toes to be facing forward. 
And we want the chest to be open, shoulders back, arms reach out to our sides, parallel to our shoulders. We're going to turn the right foot into a 90 degree angle. Then we're going to look towards the right middle finger, bend the right knee, coming into the warrior two pose, preparing our body for triangle. We want to make sure that the right knee is not going over the right big toe. Breathe deep here, feel the opening of the hips. The hips are facing forward. We're going to straighten out that right leg. We're going to send the hips back towards the left. Right arm reaches forward. And then bring the arms down towards the right calf. And we want to make sure that the chest remains open. We don't want to be leaning forward. We want to keep the integrity of the spine. Breathe into the position. Wherever the hand lays to your capacity, honor where you're at. Inhale, reach up. Then we want to twist the body towards that right foot. Hands on the hips. We want the chest to come parallel to the floor. We're going to take the left hand, reach it forward on the inhale. Exhale, come to the outer edge of the right foot. Keeping the hips square with the hands, feel your body. And then when you're ready, bring the right arm up. Looking up towards that hand if you can. Engaging the core. Staying strong. Bring the arm back down, hands on the hips, inhale, come up, bring the right foot in, twisting the body forward, and now twist the left foot out to do the opposite side. Arms go out to the sides, parallel to the mat, bend the left knee. Hips remain facing forward, looking out through that left middle finger. Breathe deep. Again, watch the knee. Make sure it's not going beyond the toes. Left foot remains planted. Right foot, outer edges of the foot reach back. Staying nice and strong between both legs. Straighten out the left leg. Send the hips back, arms forward, right arm reaches down, left arm forward and up. Breathing deep, keep that chest open. Finding the stillness within your body and in the breath. Inhaling back up. Twisting the body towards the front, hands on the hips, inhale to lengthen, exhale hinge forward, chest parallel to the ground, right hand on the outside of the left foot, hips are square, left arm reaches up, chest remains open, trying to look up through that right left finger, breathe deep. Squeezing those inner thighs for stability. Exhale, hand back down. Twisting the body forward. Inhaling, coming all the way back up. Bringing the left foot in. Twisting the body forward. And coming back to the center of your mat. Inhaling to lengthen up with the arms. Exhaling, floating forward from the hips. Inhale halfway. Exhale, full fold. 
Inhaling all the way back up again. Bringing the hands into prayer. And that is an example of triangle and revolve triangle. Thanking mind, body, and spirit for allowing us this practice. Namaste.